Hey, my friends. So good to have you back. I hope you've been well. I know I missed my video Saturday, but I did put out that uh, little tribute to Chadwick Boseman. So before I get into what uh, the Lord has on my heart to share, make sure you follow me here on the channel. Subscribe. If you want to support me, check out the shop. You can support me through PayPal, Square Cash. Follow me on Facebook if you're there. Follow me on Instagram. Pick up one of the shirts. Buy one of the CDs from the shop. All that good stuff. And I'm playing alto sax today. So, I really wanted to record something Friday night and Saturday, but honestly, I was just so heavy and burdened in my spirit, I didn't even know where to start. And the reason I picked this music that you're hearing right now, if you're not familiar with this song, you're hearing the background music to a song I wrote called God's Not Through. I wrote with a couple dear friends of mine. Uh, Brandon Herndon, uh, awesome, awesome brother, and Matthew Reese, really talented songwriter. God's not through. And that's where the Lord had to take me back because I was thinking about everything going on politically in our nation, spiritually in our nation, financially in this nation, and with my family, and honestly starting to get a little a little anxious, a little worried about well, what's going to happen with the election. Is is the are we going to go into full blown out civil war? Is this the end of the United States of America? I mean, it could be. Um, not that it matters. I mean, that's why the Lord said, "Don't worry about tomorrow." I mean, the election's in November. We're still in September. Why am I worrying about that? tell you you just go back to the promises of the word so I don't know if that's where you are right now if you're just getting all amped up over everything going on in this nation and yes elections are important yes living according to God's word and voting according to God's word is important but if you get to the point where you start to get paralyzed in your life because of all the information of all these crazy things going on going on in our world, in our nation, in your state, in your city. If you get to that point where you're just, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. That's not a good place. That's not, that's not the place that he wants us to dwell. The spirit brings liberty, freedom, peace, shalom, to be made whole. And that's where we need to live. In his presence, that's... I've written my own version of Psalm 91. As soon as I get Jesus deserves more than four chords, coming soon, get it done. Psalm 91 might be my next, my next release. But it's about dwelling in the presence of the Lord. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save me from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. So I look at that as all these things going on with media and politics, that's the Fowler snare. And the deadly pestilence, not that COVID-19 is that deadly, but if it happens to be deadly for you, well, you just trust in the Lord and say, he's going to deliver me from the deadly pestilence because he is able. He bore our infirmities. We don't have to be sick. I mean, you're looking at someone that survived cancer. I'm living proof. He is our healer. So let me give you some scripture to encourage you and a little bit of uh, music from my heart.
What can separate us? Or what shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, then who can be against us? For I am persuaded. Actually, let's go to the verse before. We're in Romans 8. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, those are dark angels, Prince of Persia, that's a principality, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, elections, nor height, nor depth, nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen, because God is not through. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want to leave you this, with this one little scripture. And I think this is very pertinent because while we're not to worry and we're not to be anxious, let's go to Matthew 10. Matthew's my favorite gospel. Let me tell you, you can just read, just read the first, just read Matthew 5, Matthew 6, and Matthew 7. And there's enough revelation in there to keep you busy for a lifetime. I'm still, I'm still in the Beatitudes and I, I, I go all, you know, sometimes I'll read all the way to Matthew 9 and 10 and then I go right back to 5 and start at those Beatitudes and say, oh Lord. So Matthew 10 and verse 16, behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Now I really enjoy herpetology. I'm a fan of reptiles. I've just, I've always enjoyed studying them, learning about them. I love biology. This is learning about God's creation, learning about animals, learning about how our bodies work, but especially reptiles, crocodilians, snakes, lizards, turtles, dinosaurs, dragons, you know, that's what they were called back in the day, y'all. They were called dragons before dinosaurs, but that's for, that's another story. That's for another day. But I learned today something very interesting that I either had forgotten or maybe had not learned. Snakes don't have eyelids, at least certain species of snakes, but I think it's universal that snakes don't have eyelids. They can never close their eyes. So when he said, be wise as serpents, you could interpret that, be wise like a snake and keep your eyes open as they do. So let me tell you, my friends, it says in the last days, many will be deceived. And there's a lot going on in this world. There's a lot of things being spun, a lot of lies being woven, a lot of hypocrisy, a lot of garbage. And it is our job to keep our eyes open, okay? Never take them off of him, but don't, <laughs> I mean, don't look around, don't get distracted. Don't be like Lot's wife and looking, looking over here and, and looking back. Keep your eyes open and don't be deceived. Keep yourself rooted in God's word. Because he won't leave us astray. He won't lead us astray. He will never leave us or forsake us. And that's my encouragement for you. Because God is not through. Listen to this song. Go check it out on Spotify, Apple Music, or just buy the album God's Not Through from my website, from my website shop, web store, whatever you want to call it and let that song minister to you because i don't care where you are if you are alive your story is not over and god is not through with you jesus loves you and so do i i will see you soon god bless take care <laughs>